think we're all in the same boat right now when we are asking those garden questions on the Facebook page and we love to see all the answers coming in. Thanks to everyone who does uh, kind of participate in that community. We love to see it. We are chatting with Bobby via phone this morning with your questions. And first up, Bobby, you know this is near and dear to my heart because I love my Christmas cactus. And Carla <laughs> is wondering uh, what is happening to her mother's. It's been dying. She's well, only been misting it for about a month. Well, or you know the answer to that question is she's only been missing it. It's not a cactus. You have to water it like you're watering a plant, especially when it sets bud and flowers. So we advised her to start watering it. I would take that thing, stick it in a bucket of water for an hour, let it soak up water, let it then drain it off, and it should come back around. But just misting isn't watering. That's the main thing of this whole deal is this thing isn't watering, you have to water. And that should come back. Would you, if, if that doesn't work, would you, I guess my guess would be to give it a little bit of a trim. Yeah, if that doesn't work, but I, the way it looks, it, it isn't dried out, it's just looking. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, like you know how to do, we could, you could do a little cutting and start it over, but I have no problem putting that in order. And if she's listening, I hope she sends us a picture that shows us what happened. Yeah, Carla, keep us updated. Let us know if that works. Next up, Mary wants to know what these small moth-like bugs are in her house, and they keep showing up no matter how she kills them and any idea of how to get rid of them. Well, they are pantry moths are called, commonly called Indian meal moths, and they somehow they could come from, you know, the packaging, but they love flour and grain products, pet food. You know, so they're in your cabinet. That's the bad part. You've got to take everything out. Look for webs. They're not spider webs. They're the morph webs. Look for little larvae. Open up. And if you think you've got it, take whatever product that is or all your products, stick them in a freezer for, you know, a day. And that'll kill anything that's in them. And if you find them alive and you want to get rid of that, do not throw it in your garbage in the house because that'll just help them. Take them outside and throw them in your bin or wherever you get rid of your stuff. And also they say that you can't put bay, lavender, cedar, mint, sachets in there, and that might keep them away, you know, just like you keep moths away. But the key is they're, they're somewhere in her house in a grain or flower product. So don't Not blame good. the plants. Don't blame the plants on that one. It has it's... nothing to do with the plants this time. Not at all. Oh, that, well, that's kind of unnerving for Mary with that answer. Next up, Chloe <laughs> uh, wants to know, what is stripping the bark off her tree? This was a hot topic on the Girl With Care Facebook page. Yeah, and I, and I think uh, I voted on the side, which I'm pretty, you know, it was either squirrels or porcupine. Squirrels do not do that extensive of damage. They, it is definitely a porcupine. Porcupine will eat that bark as nutritious and then as part of their food. So, they, and they climb up high. They, they do climb up high. So, to me, there's no question that that's damage from a porcupine. And there's pretty much nothing you can do about it. Right now, I would just wait to see. More than likely, that, that tree might not make it, but don't paint it well. Just leave it as it is there. Right. The bad news is that tree is probably a goner, but kind of the cool news is there's a porcupine around. I don't know. I think that's <laughs> neat, but I didn't lose a tree to him. So exactly. You know. uh, next up, Liz wants to know what's the plant? She's had it for years and she says sometimes there are green berries on it that turn red. Well, yeah, and they, and they would and the sometimes is because of the season. I mean, this is a, a plant that, man, nine, ten, that's the zone. You're talking like Florida. It is a really hot weather plant. It's a springer eye, or commonly called asparagus fern. And it'll do good in bright sunlight. It doesn't need the full direct sun. And, you know, sometimes they get a little yellow. You know, some of the little needles, per se, get yellow, which means you should give it a shot of a uh, half a dose of fertilizer. But it, it's called springer eye. It is uh, commonly called asparagus fern. And a pretty simple plant to take care of. It just is super, super tender in this area. So get it in before it's like, I think 50 degrees might be the max, you know, lowest temperature it'll take. So get it in early, take care of it. That's a good plant, nice and green. Very pretty, good texture on that one. And last up, Mary wants to know, uh, was this a buck or maybe one of Santa's reindeer that was messing with her tree? And what should she do about it to save the tree? 
Well, I don't think it's a reindeer, but I definitely think it's a buck. And How do you know? I can tell. Okay. Because the reindeer would have different market. I don't. <laughs> okay. So, so this is for everybody that has this kind of look on the sides of their tree or anywhere. You do not want to, you want to clean it first. Take off all the loose parts. Scrape it down with a nice, nice, nice and smooth. And never, ever, ever use tree wound dressing or paint or tar. The University of Minnesota has proven that that is worse than rots underneath. It, it's really not good. And then just wrap it with tree wound tape, uh, tree tape, tape, excuse me. You know, just a paper, wrap it up or put a plastic shield around it and let it naturally heal. So look at this, this shouldn't do, it shouldn't do anything to the street. It, it'll probably grow fine. It's just gotta be cleaned up, that's all. And no paint, tree wound dressing, none of that. Good deal. Bobby, thank you. Merry Christmas to you. Oh, uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. We won't be seeing you next week. Enjoy. Right. We'll see you after the new year. Well, coming up next, uh, where you, oh, if you have a grow question, be sure to post them on our Grow With Care Facebook page. Pictures are always best. We love when you show the pictures to go along with your question. Uh, but a lot of folks on there with the community will help you answer, and Bobby will pick some as well.